anyways yo guys what's up this is riding on to reporting all the way from india and i'm a bengaluru and how you all doing it's another morning where i'm heading to my work and this time i'm heading to my work at 6 10 in the morning for those of you who actually picked me up thank you so much for your concern that you know i had posted a pic on instagram stating my key was broken so many people actually dropped a message asking are you okay this that this that thank you so much for the concern well i'm gonna share what exactly happened a little later but right now there's a fresh vlog i'm breathing fresh air after rain that is the reason why i said it's a fresh vlog today's topic is gonna be my experience or my take on chin mount like how exactly it worked out to me what are the pros what are the cons so i thought let me just share that for those of you who are planning to get a chin mount this i thought this might actually help you let's get to the outer ring road and start the vlog boom i really don't know why i just said that boom thing but still it's kind of a fancy thing roots clear let's go look at the beautiful road well guys today i am actually recording in let me keep it a little open so today i am actually recording oh my god i again forget to block the events on the left side that is where actually my mic is so anyways today's uh, i mean today's vlog is going to be in 1080p 60 fps but the catch is i've turned on the image stabilization so what i've seen lately in most of my videos that i really don't know but the point of view was very narrow it's like i don't feel it's a 170 degree angle i feel it's about 150 or something so Uh, I turned off the image stabilization to see if that is actually causing all the problem or if that is narrowing the view. Let's have a look how exactly it's going to turn out. This video is it might be a little shaky. Hang on with me guys. Let me just find the right setup. And also just want to let you know guys before this I have a 4K video that has been uploaded. You guys can have a look at that. You might love it. It is at 60 fps, so I'm pretty sure you guys are going to love it. For those of you who haven't checked that out, just go ahead and check it out. I'm going to pop it up somewhere not around on the top. It's going to be in the description. The link is going to be in the description. Or you can directly head to my channel. You will be able to see it over there. So that you can enjoy in 4K view. It actually took me about I have an Alienware M14X so it took about that is about 5 years old I got it in 2012 in that case it's going to be 6 years old and uh, it took about 2 hours to render that video yes you got me right and I did not edit that video I just took off the initial part and the ending part uncut version you guys might love it because you can see all the kind of stupid mumbling fumbling where and all I get stuck what and all I speak what and all I cut down you will be able to see all of those today i have plenty of time to make a vlog i'm going to take my own sweet time to go to office uh and even though i'm supposed to be there by 6 but still i'm allowed to be there by 7 so in that case it's about 6:15 if i go at the same pace i might reach my office at 6:30 6:35 because there's no traffic that's the main thing when there is no traffic if you want to travel anywhere in bangalore you can take a very small time but If you leave your house in time around 8 o'clock for the same distance you will take at least an hour minimum. Anyways, where am I drifting off? I just want to talk about the chin mount. I always drift off topics and uh, yeah, the chin mount. Let's start with the cons because we always love to you know know what's the bad side of something before we actually do that. Oh my god, are you freaking serious? It's 6:10 in the morning. Damn son damn I don't think so I'll be able to take my own sweet time to reach office because the traffic is going to consume most of the time I believe let's hope that the traffic is only until the entry of this bridge the starting point of this bridge which usually gets very very crowded because people park anywhere and everywhere bingo they proved me wrong last time but this time they proved me right that they're going to stop anywhere and everywhere There we go. He's got so much of space over there, and he didn't want to go inside because he just want to block our route. La la la. That's how we actually manage when we don't know the actual lyrics. Make this for naughty, naughty, la la la. Anyways, what was I saying? Yes, the pro. I'm 
the cons which I said that I'm going to start with the cons and the con, the first con would be with the chin mount that is if you are having the camera right in front of you and for example you want to tie your shoelace or you want to go down you want to check out something like the air in the tires be careful guys you must always keep this thing in mind that you have an expensive gadget that's in front of your helmet and if you actually go really hard you might end up breaking it that is one of the cons you need to be always cautious and another con is road presence well the reason why i said your road presence is earlier i had the action cam towards the right side of my helmet and people behind me or in front of me were able to see that and they used to behave like they are the best citizens in the entire country you could ever see actually that is how they used to behave when they see the camera they're like whoa following the lanes honking while turning indicators no crazy honks and all those things because i could literally see the same person being very cruel <laughs> well when i'm being very cruel it's not that he's killing someone being very aggressive being so once he sees the camera he just calms down and he makes sure that he's not grabbing any bad attention or he's not been captured and been reported with another thing with the chin mount is obviously you need to find the right uh, mounting position or else the, the camera is going to be dropping for that i already had a fix that is use m seal guys and uh, do check out my previous previous video somewhere around the previous videos you will be able to see a video called chin mount do's and don'ts so just have a look at that you might get a little idea well basically i got that idea from msk vlog so i saw his video and i was able to get it done get this done this beautiful thing done get this beautiful thing showcased so you can also check his video and i have added a little bit to the already existing video you can check that as well so that you know you might feel that really helpful what are other cons, 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 cons? I believe that's all. The major thing would be the safety thing that people will not be able to see because it's very, very low profile. Well, the, when it comes to low profile, that comes to the pros. It adds to the cons and pros, so it's like how you take it. And the pros, let's go ahead with the pros. I have a lot with the pros. First thing is you get the first person point of view well this is actually again you know um, subjective like how people are going to take there are people who like the helmet to be visible if you are the one who like your helmet part of your helmet to be visible on the left side or the right side to give it a little bit more character to your video so you might feel like the chin mount is a con so you can add that to the con and for me i would say it is well balanced i'm okay with the helmet the right side or i'm okay with the chin mount so i'm completely comfortable pros are again i said you it's subjective you get the first person point of view it's like what i actually see you will be able to see exactly the same way like the handlebars and all those things so you'll be able to see that and another thing is it looks dope guys it looks really good it it looks well matched with your helmet like Oh, and it is also very low profile like earlier when it passed when it was going on the right side of my helmet I had to use like one two extensions and what, three screws that's that was adding a little bit weight as well and it was looking cool and not that cool as well so that's again subjective <coughs> so when it comes to the chin mount it looks really cool not cool however you want it take it but it is definitely a low profile people will barely uh, be able to notice that you have a camera in front of you at least in di uh, night times at least when the front display on my SJ Pro is turned off they'll be like okay there is something if they concentrate they do not concentrate they don't even feel that as well they feel like okay fine it's just a normal helmet it's got a mask or something so it's very low profile when it comes to aerodynamics oh my god this thing is a blessing so when I had the action cam mounted on the right side of the helmet when I used to cruise at good speeds while there is wind blast that's go that's coming against me or anywhere 
the head used to be literally pulling towards how the wind is actually going. So if I was going a little faster, I kind of felt, but I'm pretty sure that these extensions and the 3M tape is capable of more than that. But I kind of felt that it might actually break the adhesive or break the extension. That is the kind of pull I'm talking about. I must literally hold my neck stiff while riding. So right now I don't feel any wind blast at all. It's like smooth. It goes because the wind blows in front of you. Even if it's coming from the side as well or from behind, there is nothing that's actually, you know, uh, pulling your helmet or causing any problem at all. So I would like to add that to the pros. And another pro is when you have the action cam in front of you, you can anytime, from here I'm able to see the blue light blinking. So in that case, you will be able to make sure that you are recording. There are so many times when I have the action cam on the right side, I always have the habit of turning it on while I'm riding. So if you press the power button twice, uh, no, it used to happen with my SJ Cam M10 because I never tried the side mount on the SJ8 Pro. So it used to happen, uh, what used to happen is when you click on the power button twice by mistake, it goes to the photo mode. So sometimes, you know, I feel like, okay, fine, I didn't press it hard. I press it again, it goes to the photo mode. And again, I click on the record option, it starts taking picture, just a single picture, that's it. And once when I'm home really excited, I, all I can see is just one single picture, that's it. Oh my God, the list is just adding and I'm almost near my office. So in the right side, if the camera is on the right side, it, uh, there are pre there are a lot of chances for people to steal the action cam as well. They might, you know, pull it and go or there are really uh, stupid or daring thieves around in the city right now. So if it's in the side, you'll not be able to see. Maybe from behind, he might be ready like this and he might come, but in the front, when he's coming like this, you can just move it or you will be able to see what's happening. So that is a good thing. Anyways, these are the pros and cons guys and I'm almost near my office. I couldn't think any I couldn't think of anything more. So in that case I am gonna end up this video right now by saying love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do hit the like and subscribe button, click on the bell icon to get notified each time I post a video and Show some love. I love you all guys. It's D2 signing off. Good boy. Oh, I'll see you by the rest. Bye.